Hi, I'm Zach with Josh's Frogs. Sit back and prepare to get schooled when it comes to Solmanile leaf frog breeding. Solmanile leaf frogs are easy to breed. After they reach sexual maturity at 12 to 14 months of age, it's just a matter of housing a male and a female together most of the time. Female sylphs are about 50% larger than males of the same age and can measure up to about 3.5 inches long. Females typically also have eggs visible through their belly. They appear as small, round, white or yellow objects. Males rarely get over 2.5 inches long and have ureters on their venter, small white lines visible through their belly that run from the front to the back of the animal. Males also have a loud honking call that's quite distinctive. At Josh's Frogs, we found that cycling is not necessary and that simply housing a lone male with a female or two is often enough, especially if there are other male sylphs calling in the area. The pair will mate and bury a clutch of five to sixty eggs at about the size of peas, two to three inches deep in the soil. The older a female sylph gets, the larger clutch size she lays. If you have a male and female sylph housed together that are over 18 months of age without breeding, try cycling them, reduce mistings to no more than one time a day, and let the humidity drop into the 50s. Cut feeding in half for a few weeks, then feed and mist like crazy and pray. With a bit of luck, you'll have sylph eggs in no time. Looking for healthy captive bred Solmanile leaf frogs, supplies for yourselves, or for any other reptile or amphibians, well hop on over to joshesfrogs.com today.